I want to go across to YS Rajan, iconic uh, ISRO scientist, Padma Shri awardee, very close associate of uh, former Indian President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rajan, for joining us. It was an absolute delight to have you with us in the build-up yesterday. You were exuding confidence, as was the Indian scientific community, and now, you know, the, the Chandrayaan has landed successfully. Just take me through what was going through your head as you were in those last 15 minutes being described as the 15 minutes of terror, seeing the Chandrayaan descent on the surface of the moon. That was a great moment for me when the decision, when it was announced that the decision was taken to start the dissenting process. That itself, at that time, I knew we are going to make it. If you recall, I always was saying that it is going to be exceedingly likely that it will be a success. I am a very cautious person. Having been in Israel, having had a lot of things with NASA, variety of other things, we are always skeptical of something. Something can go wrong. That is why I never said 100%, because one should not say it. But I have looked at the details one has to look at, the variety of details which has been done from Chandrayaan 2 to Chandrayaan 3, so many changes to the space, uh, spacecraft, hardware, and things like that. In addition, Chandrayaan has given a lot of valuable information about the terrain. So therefore, they can broaden the area of this thing. So with all these put together, I was confident. But still, one always thinks, God, let it be. And when I heard that it is soft landed, oh God, what a amount of flow of uh, this one which took place, because more than anything else, before that in quite a few channels, children were shown from Jammu to other things. For them, oh, yeah, they were thinking that it will be, after all, young people, confident that it will be done. Then I was thinking in my mind on one side, happy tears that these things have, fellows have come. But now I am so happy for their India is going to be great. And I also want to use this opportunity, which I told somewhere else, is that the girls particularly should note in this Chandrayaan team, which made it, a lot of women were there. You may not have seen all of them. Out of the 3,000, many more will be there. Even one of the important leader was a woman. So you people also have got a lot of chance in space. Not only in Israel, there is a lot of private sector which is opening up. Oh, absolutely. Second, second, the young children who are all there with all full vigor, some of them will be having a human habitat, will be a part of the human habitat in the moon, maybe 15, 20 years from now. That They will all be young. They will be very eligible for going there. Some of them will go. Maybe if not those people, children who are shown, there will be so many other children who have watched it and other things. That made me happy. For me, 1964, ISRO's journey, we went through several things and we are given a lot of applications which are useful for the country. This TV or telecom or cyclone warning, which has reduced the Andhra cyclone, 1977, was 10,000 people died. But after INSAT came, do you hear about, yes, cyclones will be there, we can't stop it. But do you hear about any cyclonic death? It's not, because they are able to give an advance beforehand. Sure. People can ever... My colleague like Shiv Arur has a question for you, Dr. Rajan. Shiv. Do Dr. Rajan, you know, everyone is curious about what happens next. You know, now we've become very, very impatient. We've seen how beautifully, like clockwork, uh, you know, the landing has been executed. Now we're very impatient to see what happens next. We've just been told the Pragyan rover will roll out maybe in the next three to four hours. Uh, you know, and after that, hopefully, we'll get those first, uh, you know, highly anticipated images from the moon's surface. Those will be the first images from the South Pole of the moon, sir. Yes. See, the Pragyan coming out will be, I think it is there also, the chances are very, very high that some something will not go wrong. Because the soft landing was the most critical one. Now, this fellow will open it. They will carefully do that and then once that comes out we will have a lot of data 
which will be that human habitat what i said for that it will be not only water magnesium there is so many things those two sensors do they will drill it and then one of them own laser push the gases out so those things will come in fact i am waiting for it but this itself was one of the most critical because i was telling somewhere the risky riskiest space business itself is risky riskier riskiest in fact english has to invent many more <laughs> words of riskiest 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 type of thing so that is the type of thing which has gone through you know after he says that i had taken a decision to go down you know what it is there is no going back even itself it came to the 28 itself no going back how many times you can be maybe some few more days hmm. but that one is no going back and that is the type of thing but they were confident uh, it's doing so many things be- because they have taken each and everything so many things possible scenario this scenario that scenario and all that and that is what all space is about we always say what if what if this fails what if this fails that is the way review takes place oh god the way the reviews will be taking place in the design and i, I have participated many of them i have also asked questions oh it is terrible in fact one of the person told you will make them almost uh, you will feel terrible uh, when the fellows ask that difficult difficult questions so <laughs> that is the type of thing they have gone through but that has helped them quite a bit dr rajan raj singappa has a question for you raj okay dr. okay rajan raj. good to see you it's been a long time and greetings you're still very sharp and continue to dominate uh, the field that you've always uh, specialized in and uh, accomplished plenty i have a question for you if you know you've held various uh, positions key positions in isro if you had to lay a plan for what isro should be doing beyond chandrayaan 3 and uh, you know uh, in terms of what we should be doing on the moon what would that be what would you advise india to be doing see it has to do some more in terms of moon mission themselves but before that there you know the one the bahubali for us it was a bahubali but it is not enough if you just see whether it is nasa or uh, russia they went in few days nasa went in about 7 or 8 or 10 days so that was because we took this long path because our lifting capability is not to that point right. yet this That's is something point. we have to remember so we need to get simultaneously that lifting capability now the gaganyaan which will come which will give the uh, um, human rating capability that itself is a limited with this if that big one comes they will be able to do more but in the meanwhile uh, uh, there are other exploratory thing but they have to have the luna 4 luna 5 etc with a little more maybe maybe after 5 years maybe after 6 years with a little more things and then be able to go lift it that is what describe for a viewer sir our efforts to try and enhance our lift capabilities to try and have bigger rockets going up uh, you know the americans even what elon musk is doing nasa seem to have more capability there where are we in that race of having uh, bigger launch vehicles see there are plans for it uh, as you all know there were some setback the pslv as we, we call it as work cars work cars work cars that is what we used even for mars program even though it is not supposed to be done for that but uh, gslvs we had some problem some in the bottom some in the cryo etc etc now your good news is this one which has gone is seventh consecutive success mm-hmm. and that makes it seven means it is quite good insurance when it is does a uh, uh, big satellites etc <laughs> insurance will come down because down they have a confidence on it and if this also going the insurers will think oh, okay these guys can do it when they say they can do it they have got a reliability so these things having come they will have to do and it is not very very difficult once this is achieved that is this bahubali type of thing and then these things being done it is not difficult because it has to be enhanced and when i say not difficult means for those guys okay if you tell me to go and design all this it will be a tough job but they will do it and then in addition since the private sector has been opened up foreign 
investments and all open up some of them can be even be joined to do the these things so no, that you can me, has the private sector contributed anything of genuine value addition i've seen some exciting uh, new projects we've profiled those in our group but something which isro wasn't being able to do which really is one step ahead of the isro curve no not yet they can't do it and you know this is thing these things don't come come in a zippy this capabilities of what isro did what what it made under its guidance the many subcontractors please note it is not done in the backyard of isro more than about 60 to 70 percent they are outsourcing from our industry itself but it is under the isro design isro guidance etc etc now to do by our own this thing what first the private sector will do will be on some small items one sensor i am improving they may get a know how from even from isro or somewhere outside another important thing is they will make a lot of money downstream that is where they are meant for now if you see people would have in all this excitement people would have not notice one full i think gsat 24 or something one full satellite is owned by tata sky earlier they give me one transponder give me two transponder like that they have to go to isro now this is they have got your own full like this not that they built it they got it from isro or somebody else i don't remember i think it is from isro because gsat name comes but in other words they will start using this so in some ways isro's operational chores c h o r e s will okay. go down so will therefore will be able to concentrate on many more things and then you said about the spacex and all to do like spacex i think our own industry to raise to that level like elon musk is something uniquely different but for elon musk himself as tall is not he alone it is the capability built within usa for so long so like this we need to build up many of these capabilities see now one person one young startup did one rocket everybody said oh very good then i checked up what it is he has taken most of it from what isro has already got productionized by some industries but it itself is a great job so this will take time one cannot do sure, like that sure, of course it takes time it yeah. takes time it will be 10 years from now if i am still alive if you ask me this question say yes, yes. probably yes we have we have done it for but it's a step in the right path. direction and that's most important